Exodus 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to 1 Samuel chapter 17. Samuel chapter 17, we're going to spend most of our time here this morning in that chapter. There's a few other verses in the previous chapter that we're going to look into as well. But I want us to look at the life of David. We've, we've looked at David and Goliath before. Anybody remember David and Goliath? But I just felt led of the Lord to really look into the life of David once again and, and really what the Lord's been speaking to my heart is on this subject matter. Are you living your life as a hero for God? Or are you living like a defeated king? Are you living like a hero before God is really what we're going to talk about this morning. In fact, I believe there's four giants that all of us need to face in our life if we're going to be going before the Lord and going on before the Lord and, and reaching the destiny and the callings that the Lord has called us to. I feel like I'm going in and out. How many know that Jesus died to give us complete, total, and lasting freedom in our life? Yes. That's what He died for. That's why His blood was shed. And so that we can be delivered. So that we can be free. So that we can live a life victorious for the Lord Jesus. So that we don't have to live a life of shame and defeat and, and fear. But a life like David, a life after God, where, where we have a heart after God. And that's what God wants for us is that He wants us to live a life before Him. Not like a defeated king, but like a hero. Like a person that actually believes in God. Isn't that an amazing Amen. thought? A person who remembers who God is and remembers who we are and where we're positioned. But there's, there's four giants that we all face in our life and, and I want to look at one of them here this morning. And really that giant we often call in these verses that, that we look at is, is Goliath, but I like to call this giant impossibility. And that's the first thing in our life that we have to face is the, the fact that there's things in our life that we inevitably run into that seem totally impossible for us to overcome. Totally impossible for us to see a change in our life or our circumstances or obstacles that take place in our life. And that's the first giant that we need to get over in our life. Later we'll go into other giants as well. We see Saul represents really the giant of being an under unjust authority and how we deal with those things. And then there's other giants as well as far as dealing with our families or conflicts or even our personal walk before the Lord with Bathsheba. But I want us to look at Goliath here this morning. And, and the reason I, I come back to this is, is I remember a few years back, and it wasn't that far back before uh, Pastor Troy then moved to New Orleans. And, and at that time, the things were changing, and the Lord was speaking to my heart about heading up ministry and stepping up as to where I was. And one of the things that the Lord was dealing with me even before that was, was this one statement that the Lord spoke to my heart is that you need to start looking at the impossible and seeing the possible. Amen. I say that again. Amen. 
that you need to be able to look at the impossible in your life yes. and see the possible. Yes. To see what God can do in your life. Amen. Because there's nothing impossible with God. Amen. Amen. And so that's the first thing that we need to learn in our life as we walk with the Lord and if we want to be used of the Lord, if we want to be a hero for God, so to speak. There are many heroes of the faith that we read even in Hebrews 11. But we see that <clears throat> there was two different men. One was Saul and one was David. And Saul was a king of Israel and he was appointed by God, but because of his disobedience and sin, he had fallen under a curse and under bondage. And then we have young David who was out tending his sheep and was appointed by God. Out where nobody was, he learned to walk with the Lord. He learned to live with the Lord and trust the Lord. And so we're going to look at these two men and just really see the difference in these. One man who was in bondage, one man who was was blessed and had the favor of God. So what does it mean to be a hero? <clears throat> a hero is a person willing to give themselves for the betterment of others. Is that you this morning? A hero is a person, not somebody that has some ability to shoot webs onto a ceiling and swing and leap tall buildings in a single bound. But a hero is somebody who simply just reaches outside of himself to help somebody else. A person willing to give themselves to, for the betterment of others, to help others. But a hero is also a, a sandwich that's on one bread. And I don't know about you, but there's times in my life that it feels like that I'm more like a, that I'm acting more like a turkey sandwich than, <laughs> than a courageous believer. Can you relate to what I'm saying? It's like the Lord has called me to be a mighty warrior, to live in victory. And yet, sometimes we find ourselves not living the way we should. Yes. Yeah. You ever feel like that? Amen. That God has created you for much more than really what you've been living right now? Yes. Are you living your life the way God intended you to live? Like a hero or a meatball sandwich? Or a meatball sandwich. You are what you need. You ever feel like you're not meeting God's expectations in your life? Yes. It's like we believe the Bible that we're victorious, yes. that we're supposed to live in freedom, that we're supposed to live in victory, that we're a mighty warrior, that we're an overcomer. And yet, sometimes, it seems like in our life those things don't seem to be coming to pass. In fact, whenever we think about our lives, a lot of us live as if we're already defeated. As if it's already been done. We're already defeated. It's already over. There's no chance. It's impossible. And that's really how King Saul was living. And whenever we think like that, as a result of it, we become discontented, we become disappointed, and we become frustrated in our life. Yes. Because we refuse to face the impossible and see the possible that God wants to bring in our life. 